Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today, as you can probably see just behind me, I'm down on the canal in London and I'm on the hunt for a quite a rare and elusive animal that is not native to the UK but it was once found here around 10,000 years ago and that's the Escalapian snake. As usual though, I'm joined by Cookie on this hunt but today we're also joined by Ed from Gone Feral and I'll leave a link down to their channel in the description. They've got some awesome content but yeah. Hopefully, with the more eyes today, we should have a good chance of finding these guys. And well, if we do, it's going to be one awesome find because I, lo I love like snakes and reptiles and stuff. I find them just fascinating, so I'd love to find one. Excuse me, mate. Have you, uh, you seen any snakes? Yeah, I've seen them all. You, you, you saw? Yeah, it's all right, they're safe. Just what, today? Yeah. Well, that gave us some hope, but on the other side of the canal was something we weren't exactly expecting to see. So these in the background here are African painted dogs. They're uh, quite a brutal species. You'd find them in Africa, but it's really cool to see. You don't need to come to the zoo to see these. Like, you just walk along this canal. I'm one of the coolest animals on the planet. Right there, for free. Wicked. But before we go back to looking for the Escalapian snake in the wild, let's look back to my recent trip to Celtic Reptile and Amphibian, where we met some of the captive individuals and learned a bit more about the species. Escalapian snakes are one of Europe's largest snakes, so by default that means that they are the largest snake that you can find in Britain. There have been records saying that they can grow up to six foot, that big hefty snake that's you know almost two meters it's it's a big snake um but more reliably especially this far north where it's not as warm four five foot is 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 an average for the populations this female here she's probably about four four and a half foot so on, on these snakes is there anything they do in this country that would be perceived as oh don't do that is there have, have they got any cons about them i mean not really i mean the very interesting thing is that this species of snake is one of the only snakes in Europe which actually climbs trees. Yeah. Uh, and it is the only snake in Northern Europe which utilises the canopy. So because of that it doesn't overlap with our other native snake species. It doesn't, um, for instance, it doesn't consume frogs, whereas grass snakes do. Um, so it doesn't compete with any of our native species for resources. So. What that means is, is that they, they, they don't have any like, negative effects in the sense that um, they take food away from, from our other animal species. So far we've had no luck. Been searching for quite a while, but it is quite busy down on the canal. I'm currently on just a path a bit raised up but actually down on the canal it's really busy but from what we've read the escalapian snake doesn't really care about people like unlike most of our other native species that are completely secretive and the slightest like noise they'll run or slither <laughs> the escalapian apparently does not really care and so it shouldn't really affect it but yeah it might be a factor but yeah so far no luck Gotta keep looking, I guess. There's food here. Where's the snake? Though? Luckily, we bumped into this man who says he sees the Escalapian snakes regularly here, and, well, shortly after, 
this happened. We got snake, got snake. Snake.